Happy New Year. It is officially 2024. What we're going to do in this video is take a look at what happened to silver price and gold price in 2023 and see if we can't figure out what's going to happen this year. So let's get into it. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. Make sure to stick around for the end of the video and I'll be giving you my silver price prediction for this year. But let's take a look at what silver did in 2023. So this is the one year chart. Now silver price started out the year at $24.10, and it moved around quite a bit, but it finished the year at $23.97. So silver went down like 13 cents <laughs> for the year. So was it a good year for silver? I mean, if you were able to stack it on the cheap, if you were able to acquire a lot of silver on the dips, then yeah, it was a great year. I mean, usually it's going to be volatile. The low for the year was $20.04, and the high for the year was $26.06. So about a $6 swing, but uh, if you were able to stack it on the cheaper side, then you certainly did okay, I think. Uh, for most of the year, it seemed like it was really under that $24 mark. So lots of opportunities to buy more silver. We're going to see what happens in 2024. Now, here's the thing. I don't know what's going to happen. All right. I mean, I don't have a crystal ball. You don't have a crystal ball. At least I don't think you do. <laughs> if I did have a crystal ball and I could tell you exactly what was going to happen to silver price, then I would be a very wealthy man and I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos. So all we can do is sort of take a look at the past and we can come up with some guesses on what we think is going to happen. But the bottom line is I don't know. So let's take a look at gold. In 2023, gold did a lot better than silver. So it started the year out $1,829 and it ended the year. We're actually sitting at $2,073.14. So gold did really, really well. Started out $1,829, ended up $2,073. So it went up, uh, let's call it $250. Bucks. So gold Yes, gold was the winner for 2023. Hopefully, if you were stacking gold, you bought it on the dips, right? I mean, we had $1,800 gold down here. I think it was close to $1,700 range, but not quite. Uh, either way, we're sitting basically at an all-time high for gold right now. So is it going to continue to move higher from here? It does seem like that may be the case. If we take a look at platinum, platinum was, uh, it was all right. It started the year at $1,073 and ended at $1,004, so it actually moved down. Palladium was the big loser of all the metals this year, though. Palladium got destroyed. It started the year out $1,800. Now it's sitting at $1,141. So palladium was the big loser this year. Uh, if we take a look at the gold silver ratio for the year, it started out at 75 and ended the year at 86. So right now the gold silver ratio is favoring silver. It is screaming stack silver, buy silver. You should be stacking silver. That's what the GSR is telling me. Remember my strategy, if it's over 80, I primarily stack silver. If it's below 60, I primarily stack silver gold and if it's between 60 and 80 then i stack a combination but right now it is above 80 so it's screaming silver there was a few times in 2023 where it dipped into the 70s and gold in my opinion was a decent buy these were kind of the lows for gold if we look at the chart we can see it sort of matches up uh but silver i mean silver is just a great buy right now in my opinion because it's at around $24, which is about half of its all-time high. This has been the story for the last few years. Gold is at all-time highs. Silver, around half of its all-time high. So I really think over the last three, four years, silver has been the better metal to stack. That's primarily what I've been stacking. But what about moving forward? Is 2024 going to be the big year for silver? If we take a look at the target rate probabilities for the January 31st meeting, we can see 84.5% chance that rates will stay the same. Now, why do we care about 
rates. Well, rates will affect the dollar. If interest rates move down, this means, well, it'll be easier to take loans, which means more cash essentially will be created because when you take out a loan, you create more cash. And when there's more cash, this means there's more inflation and a weaker dollar. And therefore, typically we'll see higher metals prices. That's the logic there. So if rates move down, usually we're going to see gold and silver prices move up. That's why gold has been moving up in anticipation of rates coming down. Now, only a 15.5% chance that they'll come down this month. However, if we move to March, we can see 73.5% chance of the first rate cut. So this is really bullish for metals. If we fast forward to June, we can see 56% chance that rates are down 75 basis points. So more cuts expected by the summer. Keep moving forward. We've got July, another rate cut. And then in September, rates are basically parked. November, rates are parked. And December, it's kind of split, but looks like maybe one more rate cut. So We'll have to wait and see, obviously, how all of this plays out, but the number of rate cuts will certainly affect how well metals do. If rates do indeed drop all the way down to 350 basis points like they're actually predicting they will this year, this is super bullish. This could be the big year for silver and for gold. Again, I want to reiterate, I don't know what's going to happen. Just looking at the numbers, looking at the data, it seems like this could be the year. We could see silver start taking off. Obviously, it is an election year. The United States of America, we're having another presidential election. So this is probably going to push prices up because of uncertainty. That's another thing that's bullish for metals. When there's uncertainty, usually prices will move up. Obviously, presidential election is a big thing. I did a video, uh, I think a month or two months ago, talking about presidential election years, and usually the metals do go up. So with everything sort of coming in line for 2024, I am thinking we are going to see silver price move a bit higher. Now, my prediction for 2023, which I made in 2022, was that silver price would have hit $32.33 by right now, by today. That's where I thought the price would be. However, I didn't know that rates were going to go up and stay up for longer and not have come down yet. I was thinking rates would have already started coming down. Obviously, I was completely wrong on that. But based on the fact that rates probably are going to come down this year in 2024, I am basically moving my price prediction from last year to this year. I think that silver is going to hit $32.33 by the end of the year. That is my prediction, and you can hold me to it. I may be completely wrong, but I may be exactly right. So my prediction for gold is that gold is probably going to charge higher. Now, it may bounce around a little bit uh, this month, next month. You know, it could even go back below 2000 if it does. I think that's a good buying opportunity. But I think gold is going to move up, and by the end of the year, probably be... I'm going to say $2,300, all right? That's where I think gold's going to be. So I think gold's going to move up a bit. Silver's going to move up a lot more. I have no idea what platinum and palladium are going to do. I'm not even going to venture a guess on those two, but uh, I expect volatility, all right? So moving back over to silver, I am curious, where do you think silver is going this year? Definitely put your predictions and your forecast down below in the comment section. I want to wish you all a wonderful and happy new year. May you be prosperous and stack all the medals that you want to in 2024. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.